Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS. And salutations to all you Akimat that pushing his word in sincerity and truth. Coming back at you with another lesson. This is going to be on the um, shutdown that's the government shutdown that's scheduled in three days from now. Possibly, um, there's going to be another government shutdown. Trump today said he doesn't agree with the um, plan that the Democrats have laid out to stop the shutdown. And, um, hey, we don't know what's going to happen, man, because this last shutdown they had, you know, a lot of things happened. A lot of businesses were uh, interrupted. A lot of things were interrupted with the TSA. A lot of things were uh, interrupted with the national parks and various other um, government entities, um, the IRS, um, the tax people, you know, and all that kind of stuff. So um, here we go again. Um, just waiting to see what's going to happen in a few days. So Lord willing, it does happen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to say that again. Lord willing, it does happen. It does be another damn government shutdown. And I hope. Um, that it happens permanently that it doesn't um, the government doesn't you know come back together that the shutdown lasts even longer you know what I'm saying and while all this stuff is going on with this uh, possible government shutdown this second possible government shutdown you got all this nonsense going on in the entertainment world you know what I'm saying these people are totally um, zombies or goyim as those um, gutter rats like to say, like to call them, but they're um, entertained basically. You know what I'm saying? They're entertained by this foolishness. You had um, when they call it a war show. The Grammys came on. You know that was a bunch of nonsense, Illuminati nonsense. And you got um, you know basketball going on, and you just you know the entertainment world. I'm not gonna go all into uh, you know all of the entertainment what y'all y'all you out you might that know what's going on in the entertainment world you know with this nonsense and foolishness and basically it's out there uh entertaining there's nothing more but to uh bamboozle people to to take people's minds off of um the government and things that's even more important that's going on in this world um like the government passing laws you know secretly and all this kind of stuff different laws to mess people's lives up basically so while all this nonsense is going on, you got all these people that are entertained, basically, man. And all I will have to say to these people of the world, are you entertained, man? Are you entertained? Like I said in that movie Gladiator, he asked them, are you entertained, man? Okay? And just like during the Roman Empire, because this is spiritually Rome all over again, they had the Gladiator games going on, you know, just to take people's uh, mind off of what the hell was really going on, man, with the government, man. And things of importance. So, you know, I'm just sitting here watching, man, and seeing and, and what the, what the hell of the outcome of this is going to be, man, because it's interesting. So I'm going to bring out a few scriptures, man. Um, I ain't going to make this long. It's going to be short. But this is a question to the people of the world. You idiots out there. You zombies. Are you entertained yet? Okay. This is um, 2 Corinthians 4. And I'm going to start at three. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Okay? Because they got the occupant down the highways and byways pushing his word. You got the occupant on the computer pushing his word. And the word is out there. The warning is going out by the prophets as to what's about to go down here in Babylon and America and across the world. Okay? The prophets are letting you know what the hell time it is. And instead of you people out there getting it together... You know, I'm talking about you um, Israelites out there, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Instead of you getting it together, you know, trying to prepare your spirit to get right with the Lord and walk in his law, statutes, and commandments, you're being entertained, man, by the um, nonsense out here that's controlled by the so-called white man, the Jewish people in, in particular, who control all this nonsense, and it's nothing more but controlled demolition, man, Okay. And you know what happens with demolition, you know, they have detonators inside of the place and they press those demolition buttons and the building crumbles, man. And that's what's about to go down in this society, man. This society is about to crumble, man. 
okay? So you people out there, you know, party and BS all you want. You know, go out there and do what you do. Do it, do as thou wilt, because you're going to be destroyed real soon, man, okay? This is um, 2 Corinthians 4 and 3 again. It says, but if our gospel be here, it is here to them that are lost, okay? And that's you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Two-thirds of you are lost, man. Okay, you're zombies. All right. Verse 5 says, For we preach not ourselves, but Meshach Yahweh the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Yahweh Shah's sake. Okay. For Yahweh, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, which is this truth, man. Okay. This world is total darkness, man. Okay. And the light is shining, which is the, which are the, uh, these scriptures, man. The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures. Okay, it says, have shine in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of Yahweh in the face of Yahweh Shammashah. For we have this treasure in the earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of Yahweh and not of us. Okay, and it's not of us out there pushing his word, it's of Yahweh Shem Yahushah. This is his word. Okay, and we let y'all out there know what time it is, man. So real soon, you know, like I said, it's interesting times. It's going to be real interesting to see what's about to go down in a few days, you know. And like I said, I hope it, it, it goes down, man. You know, I really hope it goes down because that's the only, that's the only how you people out there, you two-thirds out there is going to get it through your head. You know what I'm saying? That um, this so-called white man is your enemy. He's the devil, man. And that's the only how... I'd, you people out there are gonna get it through your head. You proud people out there that you not um you not all that, man. I'm talking about you other nations out there, you heathens, man. Okay? You're proud, you're arrogant, and you're entertained, man. And the Lord is gonna bring your pride down, man. Okay? And like I say, go out there and enjoy yourself, man. Go have a, a, a jolly good time out there. And enjoy it while you can. And be entertained by all these silly entertainers. What's this uh two third Nikki what's her damn name? Um, um Cardi B and um whoever else out there, whatever famous people these people are into, man. Go out there and be entertained by these people. Go out there and be entertained by football, basketball, and all that nonsense, man. Cause real soon this place is gonna be destroyed, man. Okay, and even if they shut down, that second shutdown does not happen, the prophecies are still gonna come to pass. And this place still going to be destroyed, man. And two-thirds are going to be destroyed right along with it, man. And the so-called white man is going to be taken out of power. And he's going to be going into slavery, man. Under the elect, under the elect men of, of Israel, man. Under the, the power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Okay? The prophecies are still going to come to pass, man. No matter what happens. Okay? This is um, 1 Peter 5 and 8. It says, Be sober. Be vigilant, okay? Be sober from this world. Don't be drunk in this world, man. Because these people are drunk in this world. That's why I got a picture up here of these people. It look like some type of party or something. You know, they basically party and they're drunk, man. Okay, they're in gross darkness. And they're going to be destroyed, man. Okay? Verse 8 again, it says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, man. Okay, and that's the spiritual demon, Satan, and the physical demon, Satan, which is the so-called white man, man. He's seeking who he may devour, and that's most of you people out there, man. And you can look at the Georgia Guidestones. That's how many people they want took off the face of the planet, man. Go read it for yourself, and you'll find out, okay, that these people, are they're the demons, they devils, and they're no good, man. All right, and the Lord is using them, is going to use them to um, bring a lot of you people down out there, Okay. Let me see. Um, I'm going to jump over here to John real quick. So just keep doing what you're doing out there. You know, keep up the good work. Keep up the, the good, wicked work. Because the Lord is going to destroy you in your proudness and your arrogance. And he's going to come as a thief in the night, man. Like I said, if it does become another government shutdown, they're going to end up, Lord willing, cutting off the damn public welfare for you two-third niggas out there. Okay. This um John ten and ten, and I'm gonna end it with this. They said, "The thief cometh not but for to steal 
and to kill and to destroy. Okay? And that's the job of the devil, man. Okay? To steal and to kill and to destroy, man. And deceive the hell out of you, man. Deceive you that everything is going to be all right. It's all good. Go out there and enjoy yourself. But in fact, he has a plan. Okay? To put you in a FEMA account and put, R and, and, and put the RFID chip in, which is the mark of the beast, man. Okay, deceive the hell out of you. That's that's his plan. Everything is gonna be okay. Like like I say, some major is gonna go down. I don't know exactly what, but we know that part of the prophecies is that before this place gets destroyed, Babylon, America, there's gonna be um, a great insurrection, man. Okay, there's gonna be a time of Jacob's trouble, and something event is gonna bring that to pass, man. And I believe that this um, guy, DJ Trump. It's going to be the man to do it, man. Okay? He's going to be the man to do it, you know? Lord willing, you know? Okay? It says, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. And that's the elect men out there, okay? Because like I say, real soon, like, like it's a few days from now, we're going to find out what this government shutdown is going to look like. Is it going to come to pass or are they going to... Um, are they going to shut this place down, man? Or are they going to stop it from happening? Okay? So whether it does happen or whether it doesn't happen, the prophecies are still going to come to pass. Okay? And it's only a matter of time before Babylon America goes down the damn drain, man. Okay? So again, are you people out there entertained? Are you entertained? Okay? <laughs> That's all. That's the question I have for you, man. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Bekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS. And salutations to all you occupied that pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom.